at uh, this video. The Indian Parliament witnessed a day of high drama and scathing pronouncements today. The day began with a thunderclap from the opposition who staged a protest at the Gandhi statue and the Makar Dwar after a record 92 MPs, primarily from the opposition ranks, were suspended for their unruly behavior during protests related to parliament security breach. This unprecedented uh, purge set the stage for a charged atmosphere throughout the session. During the parliamentary party meeting, Prime Minister Indra Modi launched a fiery offensive against the opposition, accusing them of covert support for the recent security breach and orchestrating chaos in the hallowed halls. Parliament incident ke baare mein unhone kaha, jo kuch bhi, jo bhi vikti democracy mein, praja prabhut mein unka vishwaas hai, isko ghor khandan karna tha. हम सब मिलके इसको कंडन करना था लेकिन कुछ पार्टियां जो अभी 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 हुए चुनाव का नतीजे से निराश होके हताश होके तो इसके बारे में एक तरह इसके समर्थन का भाषा जो उपयोग कर रहे हैं ये तो इट इज मोर डेंजरस जो एक्ट हुआ है उससे ही कंसर उतना ही कंसर्न इस भाषा का है ये भी माननीय प्रधानमंत्री जी ने उल्लेख किया है well, you saw the opposition MPs stage a dharna outside the parliament. They have been suspended, 92 of them. And uh, uh, Pradesh is joining us from the news pit on what uh, we in fact can witness in the video. Video, video mein ho kya hai? What is happening in the video, Pranesh? It took me some time to understand what's happening in the video, but uh, we are in a position to now confirm this. Uh, what is actually happening, Swati, is that while opposition MPs are protesting on mass uh, inside the parliament uh, uh, campus, uh, Kalyan Banerjee gets up. Look how the others are cheering him on as he mimics and mocks the Rajya Sabha chairman, Honorable Vice President Jagdeep Dhankar. You know, this has never been uh, done before. I don't recall any such incident of a member of parliament mocking and mimicking and insulting the chair in this way. We've seen uh, papers being torn and thrown at the chair. We've seen planes being made, paper planes being thrown at the chair, books being flung in the house, uh, members of parliament standing on uh, chairs and tables. But this is a new law and we have to call it out. This is after numerous appeals by senior leaders across party lines that let's not uh, lose decorum, let's all be disciplined. You can protest by all means. You have all the rights to protest and convey the point that you want to. But this is not right. What message are we trying to send? And why mock the Honorable Vice President? He's a constitutional authority and those people who say democracy is dead in the country, that the Modi government does not follow the constitutional norms, what will they say on this? And it is not as if these people did not realize because the moment he started mimicking Jagdeep Dhankar, and you can see we've circled it, and uh, we've, uh, we've circled it, the moment he begins mimic, the, mimicking the, uh, the vice uh, president, the chairman of Rajya Sabha, the others are egging him on, cheering, clapping, whistling, hooting. This must be condemned. Kalyan Banerjee hasn't said anything on this, but we are getting reactions from the BJP. You have uh, Pratibha also joining you with reactions from the BJP. We are trying to connect to more people on the phone lines as we are breaking this big story. Right, absolutely. What is being witnessed in the video is a personal jibe being taken. The speakers have cited rules uh, based on which the suspension has happened. In the video, you can see Kalyan Banerjee mocking Vice President Jagdeep Dhankar. Let's go across to Pratibha for those reactions. Pratibha, do you have the reactions with you? Yes, sir. Uh Reactions have been coming in. The BJP is slamming uh, the mocking of Jagdeep Dhankar. The BJP Shahzad Punawala saying shocking and disgraceful. Kalyan Banerjee of TMC mocks and mimics the VP Jagdeep Dhankar inside the parliament complex. And Rahul Gandhi is seen filming it. Mocking parliament and constitutional positions has become their DNA. Remember how they said Modi ki kabar khudegi and abused his OBC background. From abusing the prime minister's post to calling president Rashtrapatni to now in 
insulting a person who comes from OBC Samaj from Rajasthan and has become the Vice President of India. True Chal Charitra Chehra of Indi uh, recently they abused Kurmi Samaj and Bihar too. Not just that, he has also spoken about the insult that came in from the other leaders as well. Manikim Tagore of the Congress Party, Swati, had tweeted this picture. He spoke about the 92 MPs being suspended, saying democracy suspended. But look at the picture that was tweeted by him. He has put a picture of the Rajya Sabha chairman as well as the Lok Sabha speaker saluting to the Prime Minister saying, Kaam ho gaya boss. So the BJP saying this is an insult to the constitutional position. Right, we have Shadat Punawala in fact with us on the broadcast after uh, several personal jibes at the Prime Minister now. In fact, uh, the vice president also mocked because the MPs were suspended for creating ruckus. The video is on the screen. Shahzad Punawala. Swati, if they are doing this in full public display on the steps of parliament, imagine what they are doing inside and why they have got suspended. Can you believe? You may have 10 differences with Modi government, but how can you mock and mimic vice president of India, chair of the Raj Sabha, and Rahul Gandhi is making video? And this is not the first time they've abused Prime Minister constitutional position. They've abused President's constitutional position, Rashtrapatni, etc. They have abused uh, various people on constitutional positions. And now they're abusing Vice President, who's an OBC person who comes from Rajasthan. So first you abuse Bihar. Rivan Reddy did that. Now you abuse Rajasthan. What mindset does this India Alliance display? It displays that they do not care about parliament or constitution. They only care about their alliance, commission, corruption, disruption. And therefore they are indulging in this. And this is an insult of the constitutional positions of India. It is an insult of every individual because the manner in which first they have abused and attacked the president of India and now vice president of India, Rahul Gandhi and Kalyan Banerjee owe explanation and an immediate apology. Absolutely. Now, uh, you know, inside the house, the proceedings are not being allowed, the house not being allowed to function because of which the suspensions happen. And the opposition says this is because, you know, we are questioning the government's role. Accountability is being sought. Transparency is being sought. And now another law, uh, Vice President mocked outside on those steps, staircase of the parliament, Shahzad Punawala. New law in political discourse. Swati is uh, uh, seeking accountability equal to mimicking a person on constitutional position who is much senior to you in age and in political stature. Rahul Gandhi has displayed his sense of entitlement and arrogance mm. by indulging in this act. It is an insult not just of the constitutional position, but the idea that an OBC person becomes the vice president and Rahul Gandhi can't digest that idea. Therefore, he abuses OBC prime minister, he abuses Adivasi president, and he abuses OBC vice president. The people of this country will give a proper befitting reply in 2024. All right, Cesar, thank you for uh, joining us with your perspective.